According to the Department of Homeland Security, more than 600,000 people stayed in the U.S. after their visas expired in 2016. That number got the attention of U.S. Senators who pressed Department of Homeland Security officials at a Senate committee hearing this week. Cronkite News reporter Noel Lilly was at this hearing and brings us the story. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake was among the lawmakers who expressed concerns about holes in data on visa overstays and frustration at the slow pace to install biometric technology that could close those holes. These frustrations were shared by Department of Homeland Security officials who testified. I recognize your frustration with our face of this. I also recognize that Congress has made up to a billion dollars available over the next decade to support funding and implementing this program. Uh, as I said publicly before, we're out of time and we're out of excuses. Visa overstays are when a person enters the U.S. legally through some sort of student or work visa, but does not leave the country once that visa has expired. Whatever the reason, we have to stay, take steps to stigmatize visa overstays and restore some order out of uh, chaos when it comes to this law in our immigration system. But the Department of Homeland Security's data on visa overstays only accounts for those who have crossed into the country through the air or sea, not at a land crossing. Well, we need an effective biometric exit program in place, no matter how people come and go, whether by air, sea, or land ports of entry. The department has been working for years to install biometric technology, which identifies travelers through things like face recognition or fingerprints. While it could be used to track those traveling to and from the country, right now it's mostly used on those coming in and rarely to check those leaving. I think our exit system, uh, biometric exit system, like I said, we have better information on those coming in, but we don't have a good way to track those going out. And uh, we're, we're getting better, but we still have a long way to go. Officials with the Department of Homeland Security say they expect to continue working alongside law enforcement and airlines to find ways to better execute this plan and this program. Live in Washington, Noelle Lilly, Cronkite News.